Hey Canucks fans, not the news we wanted to hear, but Travis Green confirms that Elias Pettersson will be out for at least another week with this upper body injury. Now I just finished recording my video on Travis Hamanick and on the proposed changes to the NHL draft lottery. So you can see my whole long intro and my thank you to my members on that video. But for this one, I wanna quickly get into this and um, yeah, just talk about the, the ramifications of this announcement. So obviously not a good thing for the Vancouver Canucks. Yes, people are joking around. We're undefeated. Even I, I made a joke in my vlog today that we're undefeated with without Elias Pettersson in the lineup. But obviously as, as our best player, or at least our most skilled player, there's a, other players playing as well as him this year, i.e. Brock Besser. But as our best player, we can say that, um, you obviously want him in the lineup as our number one center. Now, um, we don't know exactly when the injury occurred. We know what happened in that two-game set against Winnipeg, and now he's he's missed three games, right? The two Toronto games and the Montreal game. So that means he'll miss at least the next Montreal game, the Edmonton game, and then maybe some of the Ottawa series. So um, I, the fact that he said at least a week, he didn't say a week, um, maybe it's a little longer than a, than another week, and we could be looking at a two or three week injury by the time all is said and done. So obviously, I would love him to be in the lineup. I wish I wish him a speedy recovery. Canucks fans, Canucks players, teammates, coaches, we all want him in the lineup. But we must give credit where credit is due. The Canucks have um, done well without him. They've they've managed to do well without him with two come come from behind victories in the third period, which is very impressive. It speaks to their determination. The integrity, their character, their commitment to winning, all those things. But the, the true ramification that we see is obviously he's not on the first power play unit, um, which was massive yesterday. I think Pedersen, I'm, I'm convinced, he would have helped that five on three be a little more dangerous last night and be a little more effective. And then certainly his, his absence has a trickle-down effect in the lineup. For instance, Mark McKayas is playing. And he's playing okay. He's not amazing, but he's playing okay on the third line. He's in the lineup because Pedersen is indeed injured. We know that JT Miller has moved to the middle and basically playing with Brock Besser and Niels Hoglander. Besser got bounced for the third period for a little bit, but in essence, that's the top line. So um, Miller moves to the middle and he's already said that he likes he likes playing there. He's more engaged there. So we'll we'll see what happens when Petey comes back. Do you, do you move Miller to a different line? I don't want him as low as the third line though because we want him playing a lot of minutes. Do you put Petey on the, on the wing or do you move Miller back to the wing? So something to think about. Then, of course, the Horvat, Pearson, Vertanen line even survived the, the line juggling in the in the third by Green because it was a simple switch between Besser and Gaudet. So now you had Gaudet playing with Miller and Hoglander, and then you had Besser playing with Sutter and Michaelis on the third line. So you can see where, obviously, the 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 impact the of, of Pedersen's absence is felt throughout the lineup, especially, like I said, just the regular flow of the lines, obviously, and on the first power play unit. But uh, for better or for worse, the Canucks are going to have to continue to cope without him. And uh, and we just hope for a speedy recovery for Pedersen, uh, whatever is ailing him. But yes, like I said, Travis Green announces that Elise Pedersen is out for at least one more week with this upper body injury. Canucks fans, um, put some comments below. Let me know what you think about this. Um, are you surprised? Are you surprised at how well the Canucks are playing without him? Um, and what is it? What does it say about the Canucks team and their character? The fact that they're doing it. And where would you put him when he comes back? I, I think I, I know I'd put him back. I'd reunite the lotto line, no questions asked. But maybe you have a, another idea as well. So uh, yeah, react to this this announcement. How worried are you? Does it? not matter to you so much because the Canucks are still a long shot to make the playoffs. Talk about all those things. Talk about the impact of no PD for at least another week. Leave a comment below. I'd love to read your reply reply as always. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. Join this member as a channel. No, join this channel as a member if you like to. And I, I'll say it now. I still want to give a shout out to um, my Hall of Fame members of Gens95, Sim Alexander, Just Incredible, Nux Fan Number 29, and Lucas Gates. So there we go. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of this news. Have a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. God bless, and go Canucks go.